Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. So that I'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are here for beats, I have a link below. It's called Beats You Need. Or you can just go directly to my website, which is going to be X E L O H H dot com. Man, Cakewalk and Band Lab done did the fool. All right, so there's a new update out for Cakewalk, and it has an integration with Band Lab. It has plug-in, has a couple of other features, a whole bunch of bug fixes. Let's get into it. All right. Well, this is a clean slate in Cakewalk, and this is my dark theme. If you're interested in this theme. Um, I did do an update for it. So if you do download the new update in the link in this description of this video, it will be updated. So it will actually work inside of the new Cakewalk. If you are having issues with the Cakewalk, with your regular themes, you're gonna have to update them. So if you're not having an updated theme, you're gonna get an error. So let me show you what that error is. I'm gonna go to uh, my preferences. And as you see, now it's called Dark Ocean 2. So I'm gonna go to one of my older themes. Now let's go to this a random one. Let's go to this. Hit apply and boom, you get this error message that pops up. And it's basically telling you that this, this theme is not updated to actually take on the new things that were added into Cakewalk. So I'm gonna hit no on here. So if you do have the theme editor, you're gonna have to edit this piece here to accommodate for this, and you're gonna have to accommodate for the new uh, tempo map that was added inside of Cakewalk. So let's uh, kind of go through some of the new things that are in here. Uh, seeing that we're on the tempo, let's start with the tempo. So the tempo map is pretty cool. I'm probably not gonna use it too much because I don't really change my tempos a lot in my tracks, but it is also always good to have something you can actually change the tempo will make it a lot easier to do inside of Cakewalk. So you can go up to views, this view option right here. And it has an option here that says show hide the track. So this is what the tempo envelope looks like and you can stretch it out to make it wider if you want to. And you can change them. You can put little nodes on here. So let's say I wanted to change this one, right? And I can go down to, let's say, 130. And you see it did a little line going down to the 130. And this little thing here will give you an option to change them to different things. So it can do like a fast curve or a slow curve going up or a linear or a jump. So say you wanted to go directly to the 130, you just hit the jump and it'll go and make the line. You see how the line is here now for the 130 to go to the 140 to the next option. So that's what you would want to actually do. So this little option here will give you that. So this these little boxes give you the option to change that. Uh, the last one will not give you an option to change a curve or anything because it is going to stay whatever that last node that you have on here is. Uh, but like I said, it's not something that I, I would really use too much. I don't really uh, change tempos too much, but it is available for you in this update. And I'm just going to go to view and I'm just going to hide it because I don't need it. And uh, seeing that we're over here in this little section, I can go to the arranger as well. And the arranger has this new option to loop a section. If you want to loop a certain section of um, a, tra a track, you can actually have it set to loop there. You can loop all of them. All right, so seeing that we are in um, this, we're just gonna kind of just do everything in this little inspector pane, it looks like. So I can right click in here and uh, I'm gonna insert a module. So this PC2A leveler, move it up. All right, so this PC2A leveler is um, a compressor, a very famous compressor that a lot of people actually use. Uh, Cakewalk had one in here before, 
but it was a standalone where you can actually have it as a module. But uh, now they actually put it inside the Pro Channel. I really, really hope you guys keep, whew, continue to put stuff into the Pro Channel. Uh, it makes life so much easier. Um, I love putting things in the Pro Channels. Uh, I can even make like auxiliary channels and then put all the Pro stuff that I need on that auxiliary channel and bust everything through there. I know it may sound like foreign stuff to some of you guys that are maybe new to DAWs, but it's something that you'll definitely need later on. It'll help your workflow tremendously. All right, so those are like all the little cute things that were added into uh, Cakewalk. But uh, the thing that I liked was the actual integration of the BandLab uh, application. So instead of going to like the, the BandLab Assistant, which is right here, this is BandLab Assistant. Um, I have a couple of songs on there that I'll, I'll probably uh, download into Cakewalk. They made the integration where you can actually pull the stuff directly from BandLab into Cakewalk and vice versa. You can pull it from Cakewalk into BandLab. Um, it is very, very nice. It looks like I need to update my edition, which I'm not gonna do at this very moment. But I did wanna show you the sound section. So if you did ever use the BandLab sounds, they made it so when you download them from here, you can actually open them up inside of Cakewalk. And let me show you how you do that. So I'm gonna go to sound, let's go to hip hop. Uh, piano toolkit, I have no idea what this sounds like. So it says melodies wonky, right? And let me do this next one as well. What's this one? Melodies Thin. All right, so both of these, as you see it, the, the little download, download arrow is gone. So that means it actually downloaded into, uh, onto the computer. So I'm gonna minimize the BandLab Assistant, right? And what I wanna do is go over here to where we have uh, the media. And if you've ever done a BandLab project, you'll go in here to the BandLab projects, right? And you wanna hit the up arrow one time. And here you go to the downloads, meta, sounds, and uploads. So all the sounds are anything you've actually downloaded from BandLab Assistant. So I'm gonna click on sounds. And these are all the things I've ever downloaded from BandLab Assistant. And what was that called? Here they go. Melodies Thin Piano. Boom. Now I have it inside a cable just from playing it in the BandLab Assistant. If you're not using these melodies and stuff. I don't know what you guys are doing, man. This is, this is like next level stuff. This is great. And it also gives you like the key and the tempo. So, I mean, definitely take advantage of these things that they're actually uh, giving us. But uh, let's move along and I'm going to show you the song that I actually uploaded. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to band lab projects and it's going to bring up a dialog window to where it's going to pull up the library, anything that's actually on your band lab site. So if you did a beat on band lab, say, because I, I did one on my phone just to test it out, did one on my phone and tried to pull it in. And it just showed me like the MIDI files. If it's just MIDI, if it's a wave file, they'll show just the wave. Uh, but you want to kind of convert them to waves when you're actually inside a band lab. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier when you're pulling it over into uh, Cakewalk. All right. So I made this one public. So if you guys want to get this beat, this quick draw, it is on uh, on my band lab page. You can download it. You can rap over it. You can take the pieces of it. And I also have it on the fork. So what, what a fork is inside of BandLab is it gives you an option to actually go into a project and you can do whatever you want to do in there. You can make, you can do vocals in there. You can add more sounds. You can take away sounds. And it's basically going to do a revision for you on your own little private BandLab account. And if you want to make it public, it'll put it public, but it'll always give credit to the person who actually made the original 
stems and format of the actual fork. <laughs> that fork is kind of funny to say, right? All right, so I'm gonna do this one here. I'm gonna download this one. It gives you an option to uh, uh, view it online. It gives you an option to make it forkable. This is the what I was saying. All, right. All public revisions in this project can be forked. So I'm gonna get it to load. And it's gonna download it from BandLab. All right. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna stretch them all out. So these are all the files that I actually have in that project. Um, it looks like it sets the tempo to 140 because I believe the tempo is 140, yes. So I named all of them, put the 140 on there, and uh, this is what it sounds like. Yeah, so if you do want to check that out, definitely go to BandLab, look me up, X-E-L-O-H-H -H on BandLab, and you'll be able to find this project. All right, so let's say we want to just add something on here. So uh, let's go browser. But the, the great advantage of this is that you, you get to make your projects on whatever you have, whether even if you're using a Mac, you can make it inside of BandLab, then uh, send it to somebody who has Cakewalk so they can actually mix it. I, th I think that's just amazing, man. So I'm just gonna add my tag on here. Let's see if I can get it, uh, say about here, All right? All right, cool. So I added that one little piece on there. So what we want to do is make sure we kind of get everything in the track. So I'm going to do a control and all, control, control A to, to get all of them. So now what I want to do is go to file and go to publish to band lab. And I'll just put in the description, added tag, and I'm just going to upload. All right, so it says that the Upload is complete. I just want to kind of show y'all what that looks like. All right, so down here is what it looks like. It says the uh, upload is complete. And then you can view the project online. All right, so this is my picture on there. If you're looking for me, it's X-E-L-O-H-H. -H. I got one follower so far on uh, BandLab. All right, so I'm gonna open this uh, mix editor here. It's asks for access to my mic. I don't wanna give it that right now. All right, so here are all the tracks. And this is the, the mix. See, it automatically mutes uh, the mixed one for your master. And here is my um, tag. So that's in there now. You can hit this little um, thing here to zoom it in. Um, I will warn you that my internet is not the greatest, so it'll probably break up the actual song or track, and then it'll try to take over my audio driver, so I'm not going to play it right now for you guys. But it is all here, so if you just wanted to take the kick, the kick is here, the um, hi-hats with the percussion in there, here is my uh, snare, uh, the two piano tracks is the same track, I just added some other elements on one of the other ones, just to give it a more full sound. And here's the 808s, and here's my string sample. So yeah, and here's the other quick mix, which was um, on there. Let me mute that. 
So the mix is the, the quick mix one. So you can just drag things around. So uh, basically, if you do any changes in here, you can just hit save, uh, you can publish it, you can start sessions with people. So if you do wanna start sessions, definitely follow me. Um, and you can hit this little person thing here and it'll give you an option to find that other person by email or username and you can collaborate online. And here's a link that you can use, you can copy the link and send it to a person so they can collab with you inside of BandLab. I think that's phenomenal, yo. So this way, if I had it in here, I can just download uh, all the stuff if I wanted to onto the computer inside of Cakewalk. So this is why it's, it's something that I think they did a really good job so far. It can be better, but so far, so good. Um, so I'm actually gonna close out of this online. I don't need to change anything or add anything on there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is basically what they have been working on at Cakewalk. I think they've been um, Cakewalk by BandLab for three years now. So you can do the arranger mode and um, like I was saying, you can add things in here. Say I added that section and I had this section over here and then I did this over here, right? So I got three sections, I bring them down. You have an option to loop these sections uh, if you wanted to. So I'm gonna bring this one down. Let's bring this one down. So four bars there, I believe. Let's make them two bars. So two bars, two bars. Make this two bars and let it start. We're gonna drop this. Of course I messed that up. So let's do this extended. One, two, two, one, two. All right, so all of them are two bars. So I'm gonna start it over. What? That sounds pretty good. All right, so you can use the loop mode inside the arranger in order to actually get all of this set up in here. So. Man, that's good. That's really good to know that they kind of fixed it. Because before it would really glitch really hard when it tried to do another section. But it sounds like uh, it's a little smoother now. That's awesome. All right. So thank you guys for joining me on this video. If you have like any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comment section. You know I get back to you on those. Um, make sure you do you know like and subscribe and you can definitely hit the bell notification to let you know when I drop videos like these or any of the beat videos that I actually do or any informative videos that I do but once again it's your boy x dot e dot l dot o till next time people peace Total, 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 total